Welcome to Now on Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. And speaking of notable, today we're talking about the launch of Jetpack Compose 1.0, along with Android Studio Arctic Fox, new episodes from the MAD Performance Series, and privacy, security, and safety updates. Jetpack Compose, Android's modern, native UI toolkit, is now stable and ready for you to adopt in production or at least take a serious look at. It interoperates with your existing app, meaning that you can use Compose UI in Views and Views within Compose UI, integrates with existing Jetpack libraries, implements material design with straightforward theming, supports lists with lazy components using minimal boilerplate, and allows you to build some seriously cool animations. We've added lots of resources to help you learn Compose. We have a Compose learning path, along with lots of guides on developer.android.com, such as how to add Compose to an existing view-based app, using Compose and Recycler View items, the semantics tree, understanding the architecture of Compose and the principles that informed its design, passing data through the composition using Composition Local, creating custom alignment lines, and more. Also, check out the Advanced State and Side Effects Code Lab, where we cover how to create a state holder for stateful composables whose logic isn't trivial, how to create coroutines and call suspend functions from Compose code, and how to trigger side effects to accomplish different use cases. Android Studio Arctic Fox brings Jetpack Compose to life with Compose Preview, Deploy Preview, Compose Support in the Layout Inspector, and Live Editing of Literals, and it's now available in the Stable Release channel. Compose Preview works with the App Preview Annotation to let you instantly see the impact of changes across multiple themes, screen sizes, font sizes, and more. While Deploy Preview actually deploys snippets of your Compose code to a device or emulator for quick testing. Layout Inspector now works with apps written fully in Compose, as well as apps that have Compose alongside views, and this allows you to explore your layouts and troubleshoot. Live Edit of Literals allows you to do pretty much that. You can edit literals such as strings, numbers, booleans, etc., and see the immediate results change in previews, the emulator, or on a physical device, all without having to compile. Now, in addition to Compose-related updates, Arctic Fox includes a new assistant to help pair Wear OS emulators with virtual or physical devices, the new Background Task Inspector to visualize, debug, and monitor your app's work manager background workers, support for state flow and data binding, a responsive layout template, support for the latest Google TV remote control features, and much more. Google Play announced new updates to bolster user control, privacy, and security. Now, the post covered advertising ID updates, including zeroing out the advertising ID when users opt out of interest-based advertising or ads personalization, the developer preview of the app set ID, enhanced protection for kids, and policy updates around dormant accounts and users of the Accessibility Service API. Play also announced additional details about the upcoming Google Play safety section, which gives you a place to share what data your app collects, why the data is collected, and how the data is used. We also covered the target timeline for the rollout of the safety section and when you'll need to have your app's information ready. The Mad Skill series continues this week with two more performance episodes from Carmen. Now, the first episode dives deeper into system trace profiling within Android Studio with a detailed walkthrough of app startup performance, while the second episode focuses on how to use sampling profiling, specifically looking at the call stack in tandem with system tracing to get more detailed information about performance problems. As always, for ongoing content, be sure to check the Mad Skills playlist on YouTube, the articles on Medium, or our handy Mad Skills landing page. Now, in terms of Android X releases, we had a bunch of releases tied to the launch of Jetpack Compose, but one interesting one that's only tangentially related to Compose is the Profile Installer, which allows libraries and applications to define profile rules and bundle art profile information with an APK, and that can be used to improve application performance. Android Developers Backstage released episode number 171 about testing in Compose. They discuss how Compose's testing APIs were developed along with the UI toolkit, making them more deterministic and opening up new possibilities like manipulating time. They go on to discuss the semantics tree, interop testing, screenshot testing, and the possibilities for host side testing. So that's it for this time. With Jetpack Compose 1.0, Android Studio Arctic Fox, new episodes from the Mad Performance series, and privacy, security, and safety updates. Go enjoy the new Jetpack Compose release, and uh, come back here soon for the next update from the Android developer universe.